Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be looking at the sheet metal workspace. We're going to create this component here using various techniques. I'll be working off of this technical drawing that I found on Pinterest, some what do you call Ingvar. I've tried to look for a video but I didn't find one. So I'll leave this uh, link to this image in the description. So in today's lesson, we're going to be moving between the sheet metal um, workspace and solid workspace, but we'll start off in solid. What I've done is I've just um, added a canvas in another tab here so we can see the drawing we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to start by creating this circle, circular part and then drawing the edges off. So we'll go in there, I can see that radius is 18.7 and the angle is 316.27. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane here. If my computer can catch up. And it's going to be a center point arc. So create center point arc and we will dimension it against the origin there. Now this isn't all that important, let's just get the diameter first, that was 18.7 and we'll just put that around there. We could have added in the degrees but I would like to um, make sure this is properly defined so I'll use a horizontal constraint there and I'm going to make a construction line between this point a center and that point now what we can do is we had an angle of 316.27 so I'll go 360 minus 316 comma 27 because that'll be that angle there so that's the that's the circular part of what we're looking for then we're going to create a line I'll just take off that there and I'll go down 10 millimeters. I'll jump back to the drawing now quickly. It doesn't actually show us what we want. Let's finish the sketch. So in the technical drawing, it doesn't actually show us there how long that piece is. So I've just decided on making it 10 millimeters. There's the, the plan view. So we'll go back in here. Now we can go into sheet metal. I'm going to say create flange, but first we want to check that our rules are correct. So I'm going to go into rules. I've set this one here stainless steel. I've set the thickness to 2.6, which is the thickness of the material we're working with. So when we do a bend, the bend radius will also be 2.6. So I'll go create flange, click on this edge and it was 40 millimeters deep if i have a look there i can see we've got our piece but what we need to go down now is change the sheet metal rule to the one where we specified the bend angle what you'll notice here is where the bend is in terms of um, orientation so if I had to go side 2 it's inside there and then we have center so for our our drawing um, I'm just going to go over there side 1 so now we've got the beginning bits what I want to do now is create another flange 
I had to look on that it was 10.4 millimeters so I'm gonna click an edge and then it's gonna allow me to drag it out so let's go back to the front view I want this to be 10.4 um, so we'll go over here 10.4 and then the bend position we can go inside outside adjacent uh, so I'm going to make it outside and another thing I'm going to add to it is we don't want it where it says their full edge that's not what we're looking for um, ours would be symmetric and you can actually drag it in here and when it reaches a certain point it drops down that little extra bit so that again this didn't have um, a measurement so I'm just going to make that 10 millimeters and okay so I have a look at this now and I'll, I'm thinking that our little lip there is not quite long enough so I'm going to go back into this this last um, flange that we made and the distance I'm just going to make it uh, not that one the height so we'll make that um, a bit longer again we can check which edge we want the height datum to be taken from so inner face, outer face, tangent to bend. So that looks a bit better. Now if you look over here, these aren't quite flush with the, the bottom there. So if you want to, you can just extrude them. I'll click extrude, click these two edges. I can say two objects and select that surface and it will make it flush so that's our first side and for our next side let's just have a quick look here it looks like that's probably about 30 millimeters again it says 10.4 from here we're going to create a flange on this point and drag that out and just make that 10.4 and go to front view over here you can see it's lining up nicely if we had different measurements here we would see um, obviously different measurements because of the bend position and all that uh, what I'm going to do is change this from a full edge to symmetric and make it 30 so it's 15 in either direction I'm happy with that now what we want to do is there's those holes that we saw on the flat drawing over there and there so let's make some holes what we're going to do is we're going to modify and unfold I'll select a face and unfold all bends here we go. To do this part, I'm going to go into Solid Workspace and create a sketch on this plane here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line, construction line, at the center over here. So you just slide this up and down until it indicates center. Doesn't want to do it now. There we go. So I'll put that across. So when I draw my circle on it, it will automatically be centered. See for center diameter circle. I'll snap it to there and two millimeters. And I will dimension it three millimeters from the top. So 
finish sketch and I'll repeat that on this side over here. Create sketch, uh, center down to circle, two millimeters, again center down to circle, two millimeters. What I'll do is I will put in a vertical constraint between them. So when you move the one, the other will move, we'll see now. It does not. Let me zoom in a bit. There we go, so we can see they're both moving. Now I want to set this diameter, or this dimension, from there to there, as a three millimeters, so that will Set it for the top and the bottom line. And then I'll dimension this from there to there, make that five. And we'll do the same with the bottom line. Okay, then finish sketch. All that's left to do now is extrude these holes. So we'll select extrude, then we will select the holes. And we will just adjust the angle of it here and make sure that this is going through. There we go. Now back into sheet metal and click refold now we've got that same component but it's taken on the characteristics of our editing in the solid workspace if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial i have one or two other sheet metal tutorials uh, please like and subscribe leave a comment on the comment section get in touch if there's anything you need help with um, I will leave a link to this technical drawing in a Google Drive folder as well as my email address in the description. Till next time.